Hi, welcome to the quick start for SectorViz. SectorViz is a brand new dynamic occlusion culling system for Unity based on sectors and portals. We're starting here with a simple scene that's already been set up. We can see the sectors at each room, each hallway in blue, and portals connecting them at every doorway. You can uh, create a scene like this yourself. If you're not sure how, check out our Sector Core quick start video, or go to the demos folder in Sector Viz or Sector Core, and you'll see this exact same scene and you can work off of it. In this scene, in addition to the sectors and the portals, is a simple player that I've placed at the start, and you can see his uh, camera frustrum and stuff. So to enable culling, all you have to do is add a single component. And we're going to add a culling camera, which is a Sector Viz component. And when I do that and expand the gizmos, you'll notice that it starts to draw frustums in the uh, scene view. And what this is doing is actually showing us how the culling is going to work. You can see how the, sort of the frustrum is propagated and clipped uh, as we move around, uh, as we move the camera around. And that's cool and all, but nothing's actually culling. And nothing's culling because we're in edit mode. So if we go over here and actually play this demo, in just a moment. You'll see that as I move around in my picture-in-picture -picture view, you can actually see sections of the level dropping out as I look around. Also, this is door aware, so when the door is shut, chunks of the level aren't drawing, and more of the level draws as the, uh, when, as the door is open and closed. You'll notice that sometimes it looks like it's drawing a little bit more than you might expect it to, and that's actually because there's a lot of dynamic shadow casting point lights in this scene. And Sector Viz actually does the right thing and makes sure not to call shadow casting objects if the shadow that they would call might actually be visible. Also, as one other cool little trick, if you want to see the culling in the editor, you can come out of edit mode, go back to your culling camera, and check this cull and editor box. And now, as you play the game, you'll actually see the culling not just in this picture in picture view, but in the editor. And that's pretty cool. So, with that, you've got a great idea of how to enable dynamic occlusion culling in just about two minutes. Thanks.